Hi, today we're painting a really fun autumn gnome and there's a link in the description for a free traceable if you'd like to use it. I've mixed some raw umber and white and I'm using my medium flat brush and I'm going to paint that horizontally across the canvas. I'm trying to give sort of a wooden panel effect for the background. It doesn't matter if there are some streaks in the paint, this is actually quite good because it'll help us out later. Next I decided to paint my gnome's lovely round nose. I've got some titanium white and I'm adding to that a tiny amount of cadmium red and cadmium yellow just to give a nice light pink colour. I'm also making a slightly darker version of this colour, so it's the same colours but this time I've added a tiny amount of black to it. I'm painting the darker colour around the edges of the nose and then I'm coming in with the light colour in the middle and blending those two colours together. Next I'm going to block out his lovely beard. I've got my titanium white with a tiny amount of black added to it. I've got my medium rain brush again and I'm just painting in the area that his beard is going to be. While that's drying I've decided to move on to the hat. So I've got a little bit of raw umber and I've added that to my cadmium red to make a dark red colour and we're going to block out the stripes on his hat. Of course you can paint your hat whatever colour that you like, I just thought red and yellows would be really nice for autumn. I've still got some red paint on my brush. I'm adding this to my cadmium yellow to make a nice warm orangey yellow colour and I'm going to paint the other stripes on the hat next. While that's drying, we can move on to his jacket. I'm just going to block that in with sap green. For paintings like this, the way I usually work is I move around the canvas painting different areas. A couple of benefits to that. One is you see how the picture's coming together as a whole, but also it allows different sections to dry while you're working on other parts. The paint on the beard has dried now so we can come in with our white paint and start adding some really nice highlights. I'm using nice loose brush strokes so the grey paint underneath still shows through here and there. The hat has also dried now so we can come in and start adding a few details. I've got my cadmium yellow with a little red added to it to make it slightly darker and I'm using the brush strokes in sort of a curved line to get that effect of the fabric that's rolled over on his hat. And now I've got my really nice cadmium red, I'm painting that over the top of the red stripes so it's nice and bright in the middle and then I'm using my dark red to add the shadows at the side. I'm going to do this for the rest of the hat with the light areas in the middle and a little bit of shading at the edges.
I've added cadmium yellow to my sap green to get a nice light green colour and we're going to put a second coat of paint on his jacket. And again I'm using my sap green with a little black added to it for the shadows. While all of that's drying, we can start adding in the base colour for our sunflowers and pumpkins. I'm using raw umber for the centres of the sunflower and different mixes of my cadmium red and cadmium yellow for the sunflower petals and the pumpkins. Next I wanted to add just a little bit of detail to the background so I've got some white paint with my medium rain brush and I'm really just streaking that across the canvas trying to keep the lines as horizontal as possible. Then I've got my raw umber and I'm doing exactly the same thing again. You can keep it quite loose as it doesn't really need to be too detailed at all. It's just giving an indication of the wood at the background. Now that his beard and the jacket has dried, I've got my small round brush and we're just going to add a few little highlights and details, soften those edges up a little bit and fluff up his beard. I'm not really adding too much detail on the sunflowers and the pumpkins. I've added a little raw umber to the yellow to define the petals a little bit. For the pumpkins, I'm adding the highlights on the top with my orange colour, which I made from cadmium yellow and cadmium red. And the shadows, I've added a little raw umber to it to put in those lines and try and give that nice curved pumpkin shape.
For the leaves, you can put them wherever you like. I've tried to make mine slightly different sizes and shapes to give a little bit of interest. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please think about subscribing and hitting that like button for me. It really does help.